In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Good morning. In our Anathon, have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies, and those who pursue me. O Lord, never let me put to shame, for I call on you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and serve ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your people, we pray, O Lord. In your goodness, set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Read the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, tear on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he'll be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they are put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and hearts. Let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise to the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surge round about me. The destroying floods overwhelm me. The cords of netherworld enmesh me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Read the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for good works, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If I call them gods through whom the word of God came, and Scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Mary came to him, many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And there, and many there began to believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Grandma Delaney coming to mind again today. She was known as a warrior warrior. She would say all the time, I worry, I worry, I worry. And I had been thinking about that in this worry that I've been in. And I was thinking, I know very clearly, I know very clearly Grandma had faith. I know very clearly she believed in Jesus Christ. I know very clearly she prayed every day. But again, that human, that human reality remaining and with us and in us. And like I said yesterday, the struggle, the struggle is real. But we keep coming back. We keep coming back. We keep coming back. We keep coming. We keep coming. To this goodness of Jesus Christ, to his way, to his truth, to his life, and let our hearts, let our hearts be filled with this goodness, let our hearts hear this good news, and as we live the reality of this thing that we call life, and these things that we are facing every day. Hearing this. It's just the news that we need to continually hear, to believe, to believe in Jesus Christ. And to really understand what that means for us to believe and to have faith and to trust in Him. Seems so easy. Okay, and then boom. But He's constantly in this path. 
just like again today at this Mass. Today again in his words speaking to us, in all of his signs, in all of his reality, in all the ways that he is with us. And we may worry and worry and worry, like Grandma, we also can pick up our books and pray our rosary read our scripture, pray to the saints, and find our way in all this worry, anxiety, tension. Because I think what brings us the greatest worry, what brings us the greatest concern, is always the unknown. But we cling to what we know. Cling to his truth, his life, and his reality. We don't sit out there and beat ourselves up over the head and say how bad and awful we are. And, oh, I just was there. And just acknowledge it's hard, tough. But the same breath, the same reality, and hard and tough as it is, the truth is right before our eyes. Thanks be to God. Trusted in God's providence and his mercy and his divine love, we now turn our prayers and petitions before the very throne of grace. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for Archbishop George Lucas. We pray for all of our bishops, all of our priests, all deacons, all religious, all laity, and our entire church. That we will come to trust more fully, more completely in Jesus Christ. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our beautiful medical team. Entrusted to care for the sick. We are grateful, we are thankful to God for these beautiful men and women going into the trenches, caring for his ill. The good Lord will be with them, bless them, protect them, fill them with hope, goodness, and keep them safe from this coronavirus. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we will soon develop a vaccine, a vaccine that will end and make a cure to the coronavirus. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of the prayer requests. We pray for those that have recently died, especially for Vince Berry. And we pray for her family. It's this time where they probably won't have a funeral or I don't know what they'll be able to do. But God bless them. And I pray they know the prayers and warmth and comfort of so many people that knew her and loved her so much. We pray for all the dying. And we pray for all the sick. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our farmers as they prepare for the fields. They place their trust in Jesus Christ. And we pray for our beautiful parishes. That we will continue to strive and rise up to these challenging times. For this, Lord, for this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, you bless us beyond measure. You keep leading us back to the belief and the fear and the anxiety and the worry and the tension that is real. We hear it again, we receive it again, and over and over we struggle. But continue to help us, bless us, grace us, and bring us the peace and love in union with you. We make all of these prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand, praise and glory of his name for our good, the good of all his holy church. Grant, O merciful God, may be worthily to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and then willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. committed ethon, Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the cross. For the dead to sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds we have been healed. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord. May it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And the Almighty God, bow your heads and pray for Almighty God's blessings. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. A couple of announcements. Uh, they're recommending now that we wear masks and go out in public. So I'm calling upon some of my good source to sell me some masks. I've seen where you can take underwear and make a mask out of that, but I don't, somehow I don't think that's right for a priest to do that. I don't know any rate, I'm not good at that. I don't have any scars hanging around, so 
Um, if you'd be so kind, and if you know somebody out there that wouldn't mind, I don't want to steal from the stockpile, I don't want to take from our medical team. Um, you got some old fabric or some old things out there, if you wouldn't mind sewing up a few, um, I would really appreciate that, to be a good citizen and be good and faithful to not spread it. Uh, tomorrow I will be giving an announcement about Holy Week. I'm going to do a live feed at some time tomorrow. I haven't decided the exact time yet. I'll let you know tomorrow at the Mass. I'm thinking early afternoon-ish, but we'll see as I finalize everything for Holy Week. Uh, thank you so much for your prayers. I have been released from my doctor uh, to perform normal duties as of Tuesday. So Tuesday I'll be able to go back to in ministry, although, you know, we're still using common sense and keeping our distancing and, and, and doing all the things we're doing. And I really want to stress that at this time. I, I just think, I, I think we can't stress it enough that, you know, we're just in extraordinary times right now. And the main thing right now, and I know God would want this for all of us, is to be healthy and to do all we can to not spread this. So I know something like, oh, I'll die, I'll run into burning wall, I'll go, I'm hero. And it's not Captain Hero, anything like that. What it is, is being smart and having common sense. When someone's dying and there's death, and that's a whole different reality, a whole different beast that we deal with. But right now, it needs to be smart and be safe and stop the spread so that others don't get it and the medical team don't get it and that we can care for the sick and I just really believe that's what Jesus would really, truly want us to do. I know Lynn's an extraordinary time. I've got all these things, so still haven't made the final decision with confessions. I'm processing and praying. I'll have a decision tomorrow, but don't feel, I don't want anyone to feel like, if you scheduled it, i got to get out there, I'm going out in guilt. No. No, no. When we come back, we'll come back. Okay? And God will have plenty of time and opportunity God is with us. We just got to continually remember that and continually understand these are different, different times, different places, and different spaces right now that we're facing. It's something we've never seen in our lifetime. Anyone I talk to, no one has ever seen anything like this. So we're learning every day, we're growing every day, and we know in our area we're preparing that it's going to come. I mean, it's, we're at the bottom right now, and we want to be ready. So. Again, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your good notes, words, encouragement, the food dropped off. I'm incredibly blessed. I feel incredibly happy. And I will continue today praying and discerning how we're going to go forward for Easter week, Holy Week, and all of those things. And just continue to pray for each other, to be safe, our health first, and know that God is with us, providing and taking care of us every way and in every life. And the Almighty God bless you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be.